racing on Saturday, spearheaded by Cheltenham, trials day. And as ever, there's bound to be loads of clues as we head towards the, the big four days. Will that soon be five days at the festival in March? Um, three tips today, all of which are at Cheltenham. And starting with top of the shop, really, not just because it's the time form sponsored novice handicap, but of course it's great to support your own product. Um, but a horse in this who just stands out a bit really and, ha and has done pretty much since I was on racing TV when he ran against Pim in the stay in novice at one of the last meetings at Cheltenham last month where he travelled like as good a horse as Pim but just didn't see the trip out as well as him. He's still got a bit of learning to do with his jumping but I think that will sharpen up and Imperial Aura, the horse in question, is a horse I think he's just very much one to be interested in. A mark in the 130s will surely prove to underestimate this horse significantly at some point even if it isn't on Saturday but I think it can be on Saturday he's been given a nice break since six or so weeks and I suspect this has been the plan for a, a good while even though he was entered in the interim and taken out that may have been an abandoned meeting can't quite remember but certainly he struck very much as a, a likely type for this race at the time I said so on the television that day and I've had no reason to change my view since. They've made him clear favourite for most of the week, but he deserves to be, because I think this is a 150 horse masquerading from a mark about a stone lower. So Imperial Aura, 115 Cheltenham, the time form now is handicap, bound to be another strong renewal, but he's the nap. At 150 Cheltenham, this is an outsider, almost certainly, but the first thing that struck me, I mean, obvious cases to be made for like Highway 101, who's a really bold jumping front runner and shaped like the best horse in the in the race for a long way at Kempton the other week. But the other thing that struck me was the fact that Warthog's in there. There are other pace influences in there. And I'm going to chance Gard La Victoire, who's going to be double figures, certainly overnight and probably in the morning as well. Tom O'Brien replaces the, the injured Richard Johnson. That's not the reason. The, the main reason we're with him is because he's down to 141 now. He had a spin around Christmas time, should be sharper for that. And there's just a chance that this race is run to suit. Cracking Cheltenham record, this horse is won here at least once over fences. I've been placed as well. You can just see the race going ideally for him. And although he's 11, the fact they're persevering with him, the fact they're coming back to Cheltenham after his reappearance, and a horse who obviously hasn't stood much racing of late, but that means that they can't mess around with him. So you can't waste starts. I imagine this is absolutely the target for him at this point because they don't know how many more opportunities they'll get with a horse that seems fairly injury prone so he'll be a big price maybe he'll run like he should he is a big price but hopefully he'll, he'll, he'll exceed the expectations that the market will have for him finally three o'clock a horse i've rated since he first stepped foot on a british race course winning a bumper at utox so that's king roland he goes in the classic novice hurdle at three o'clock He's absolutely crying out for a test of stamina. Big, strong gallop in saw. He was undone in a speed test at Newbury, but set the record straight when he went to the track. Next time, he just, to me, at the start of the season, rated as one of the most exciting prospects for novice hurdles. And nothing I've seen in his couple of starts so far makes me disbelieve that. So, King Roland to take the step up in grade and he's striding at three o'clock. Cracking days racing, but the nap for me, Imperial Aura in the time form sponsored novice handicap.